What's going on everybody, Tanner with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some important stuff that may be helpful for not only for beginners, but for people that are advanced and want to increase their conversions on their store. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide on building a store and optimizing for conversions. So what I've done, I've combined all my knowledge from the past couple of years. And I'm incorporating a big chunk of it into this video to help you guys with building your store. So let's go ahead, not waste any time, and hop onto my computer. I'll see you there. So what I've done, I've already created a Google Doc here where we're gonna break down everything and keep it simple as well as a Shopify store. You don't need to see all the basic stuff of signing up and putting the address and all that. It's pretty self-explanatory if you just go to shopify.com. I don't have an affiliate link, so don't worry about that. Really what I wanna do is focus on two things here. Um, when you're building a Shopify store, for those of you that are beginners or not beginners, I put right here, focus on two core purposes. Conversion optimization and readability. Now conversion optimization, a lot of people don't focus on. They just focus on building a store and putting products up there really quick. And now if you're not focusing on getting conversions, then what's the point? You build an online store to get sales, to make money, to actually increase conversions and just generate conversions in general. If you're not spending a large amount of time focusing on it and learning new tips and tricks, then how are you gonna build your store up? And two is gonna be readability. A lot of people build stores that are very cluttered. They have too much information, too many different fonts and different colors and all this stuff going on where the potential customer can't focus and they get distracted and just leave the store. In order to have a successful store, you're gonna to have to build something that's readable, something that's easy for people to go through and read and buy. If the buying process is easy, they'll either one, come back, or two, they'll just be happy with their first purchase. So now let's get into the essential setup for things that you may need to know. Um, the first thing that I wanna do is just talk about readable information. Like I just said, readability is very important with the store. And now, what I don't really wanna do necessarily for this example store is focus on just building the storefront and building everything that's very, very simple. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory building the Shopify store. So what I wanna do is focus on the conversion optimization as much as possible because that's the stuff a lot of people don't actually talk about. Um, so basically what I offered here for those of you guys that need some inspiration for building stores, um, if you go to this website right here, you're gonna be able to see all the top Shopify stores, all the websites that are hosted on Shopify. And you can go here and look at these and get inspiration. Um, you know, this is just a random store I just clicked on. This is the, the what, number 11th store on Shopify. It's a vape store, but you can go to all these different Shopify stores and see what they look like. You know, all right, they have this banner here with a little shop and you can click on it and it'll take it to the product and you can learn about this stuff. Now, one thing when people are building Shopify stores, it comes with debut. And one thing is, I used to get a lot of DMs. I still get a lot of DMs of people asking me to review their Shopify store, look at it. You know, what would you change about? What would you do? Now, the thing is, I could tell you a few things, but it's not gonna make that big of a difference if you're not focusing on it yourself. A lot of people are building Shopify stores without actually customizing this theme debut. If you go right here, you can just see it's very, very simple. I mean, there's not much to it. In order to make it stand out and brand well, you're gonna have to actually put some work into it. And it's the same with every other theme. If you go here to explore free themes, you're gonna see all these different themes you can choose and they look nice. The demo stores look very professional, the brand looks well, and a lot of people just can't do that on their own because they don't spend time on it. They just focus on putting everything up while importing an AliExpress product without changing the description or the images or anything like that. You can go all the way to page 1000 here and see like, all right, look, this store is almost 50,000 on the list. And if we click on it, it's gonna take us to the store and we can look at it and see, all right, this theme, they got this set up with the different drop down tabs. How am I gonna do this? Should I do this on my store? Is it something that makes sense? And you'll notice most of the top stores, now this is not a top store obviously because it's all the way at 50,000, but they have a lot of stuff going on. And now if someone told me to review this store, I would go through here and be like, all right, you know, it looks pretty decent the way it's set up with the cases. When you go through it, they all have the white background, a similar layout as far as the product images. You have the categories set up with different custom banners and it's overall, Decent, it looks good. I would not say it looks bad. Some people will just create a store based on how they think it'll look well. But what you have to do is base all of your actions off of data because data is the only thing that's a proven fact. You see people like this and buy more from this, then it's something that I'm gonna do. So now let's get to some actual other essentials for those of you building a Shopify store that's beginners. And then we're gonna get into some important stuff. Um, so if we go back to the Google Doc here, terms of service, privacy policy, and refund policy. This is gonna be a very, very quick section for you guys to see. Um, what you're gonna do, go to settings, go to legal. Now I'm not an attorney, I'm not an accountant. I can't tell you to use this or not. Um, this is just what Shopify offers here. And this is gonna give you a general refund policy. Now what you're gonna wanna do is change this and tailor it to your own custom needs and your own refund policy that you want to offer. And the same thing goes for the privacy policy in terms of service. And then what you're gonna do, you go to online store, pages. I've already done it on here real quick for a demonstration and refund policy. And I just pasted some of the information in there and you save it and then you go to navigation, go to footer menu, call it whatever, and then paste the link here for the refund policy and you're good to go. 
And then if we go back to the Shopify store and you scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see their refund policy. Now the reason we wanna have these pages is because it's just a precaution for customers. So whenever, let's say they want a refund and they email you and you just say, all right, I want this, but they say, why is it like that? Why do I have to get a refund in a month? Why can't I get it tomorrow? You wanna make sure you have customers aware and instead of arguing back and forth, you can just send them directly back to the refund policy so they can read it because if they buy from your store, they are basically automatically agreeing to that refund policy. And before we get to the next thing, just a quick resource for those of you guys that are building a Shopify store for the first time or want some free images, what you can do is go to pexels.com. So if you go to pexels, you're gonna see all these different images and you can just type in different things, happiness, smile, business, whatever, and it's gonna come up with different images that you can use on your store. Now you have to look at the licensing, but most of these are, you see, free for personal and commercial use, so you can download it, and then you're good to go to upload it onto your store, or use it for ads, whatever you wanna do. It's free resources here, and you can also license different ones if you wanna buy them. And now before we get to all the different conversion hacks, let's get into a quick shipping hack for you guys. This is something that's done crazy well for myself, as well as some of my friends. So if you go to your Shopify store, um, a lot of people just offer free shipping if they're dropshipping or they're doing free plus shipping. If you're doing free plus shipping, you're gonna be making sales, but it's very low ticket and it's not gonna end up doing you well for the long term because you're gonna have to get a lot of sales in order to make a lot of profit. Um, now, high ticket stuff is the opposite. If you get fewer orders and you have a higher profit margin, you're gonna be making more money. Um, so basically, if we go here to domestic and we edit this, you're gonna see most of the time what I would do is offer free shipping over $50, but most of the time my stores are gonna have products that are all over $50, so they have free shipping anyways. But you're making the customer aware already by the banner on the website. Um, so we'll do price-based rate, and we'll just call this free shipping, just right off the bat nothing to change you know you can make a minimum order but if everything on your store is already over the price that you have it set at then you don't really need to change anything so we have the free shipping set up now but now what i'm going to do is set up something that's the basic version but will help increase your average order value a ton call it express shipping and what you're going to do you can leave the minimum order as the same or whatever you want to do you're just going to create a random number like eleven dollars and 32 cents if these products on the store are 100 bucks people are going to see this option for free shipping to express shipping and most of the time they're going to choose express shipping because it's faster and what you can do is whenever you're fulfilling an order it'll be shipped faster and you can just have it delivered faster by telling the supplier to process the order and a sooner time they'll charge you an extra dollar or they'll just do it depending on how many orders you're already doing and now this is just a simple way to set it up we start doing this originally my team and I and it was doing very well it was increasing our average order value every few customers would add the express shipping and we were making money from it but it became a lot bigger when we started figuring out how to customize it and do it in a different way instead of just doing it like this because the more someone knows about something the more drained out it's gonna get so we figured out how to do it in a different way where we were increasing our revenue by literally 30 percent almost every single customer was using the other shipping method that we offered uh, which is a little bit more complex if you want more information on that there's a form in my description where you can go check it out and apply if you're serious and want to work with my team and I, where we go into all this stuff fully in depth. So just let me know about that. But now what I want to get into is the actual apps. And now we just talked about the free shipping and the express shipping. You can go to the rest of the world and add that in there too um, and do the same thing. You can charge more for the express shipping though since it's international. Um, but let's get into the apps, what's most important in my opinion for increasing conversions here. Now, like I said, I want to focus on building out the store. I want to focus on conversions because most of you guys can add your own products, can add your own images and customize that stuff enough. So let's go ahead and go to the first app. Um, I call these the drive five because these five apps are gonna help you drive more conversions than you've ever had before. Um, the first one I'm gonna use is just Conversion Plus. Now this little app is something that used to be free. Now it costs like $7 a month or something like that. Um, but it's worth the money, every single penny. If you're driving traffic, your abandoned car percentage will go down a ton because of this. So as you can see right here, it says your car is reserved for 10 minutes. And what it's gonna do is show this in the checkout phase. Um, so what I like to do is Change this to 15 minutes, and what I say is use code save five and the next, and then you have the minutes to receive 5% off. And then just to show you guys how it works, we go here to the product, we add to cart. It's gonna show it right up here in the top. It's gonna have a timer, and when we're in the cart, people are gonna be more likely to buy and actually go through their purchase if they can get an extra 5% off. What you need to make sure you do is actually go to your discount and create the 5% off code because if people use the code and it's not there, you're gonna have some issues. People won't be happy. But now since we have this, it's automatically counting down 
and uh, we're good to go. Very, very basic. The next one I wanna talk about is alley reviews. This one's very important for social proof and increasing conversions because if you go here, this one costs about $9 a month, alley reviews. What you're gonna be able to do is one, you're gonna be able to have reviews be imported from AliExpress listings directly to your store. And two, people can add their own custom reviews and this is gonna show. As you can see right here on the home page, it shows you exactly how it works. And there's a lot of different things you can toggle and edit here. It's just one of the very important apps I would say. Best out of all review apps, whether you're drop shipping or not, this is gonna be one that's very, very helpful. Um, now, I don't wanna show all the setup for that because that will take itself five to 10 minutes. Uh, but the next one I wanna show, just to show you guys here, is Consistent Card. This one's very, very, very important. Um, if you don't know a bunch about back-end marketing and email marketing and stuff like that, then this is one that'll sort of automate the process for you in the most simple way possible um, while helping you in a sense of you don't have to learn a bunch about other email marketing. So we can do is set up email marketing. If you go here to their email auto series, they're gonna have all these abandoned emails here and you can edit them and change all of this stuff here. Um, you know, you can change the name, the email, when the time will be sent. You know, their times are already good how they are, just default. Um, but it's gonna show the product and if the people click on the email, it'll take them back to their cart and they can finish purchasing. And I usually turn on all three of these here and birthday emails will help convert very heavily if you can use them if you have accounts for your uh, customers. And now these last two here, I wanna go through sort of quick because my camera's about to die. Uh, but we have add to cart and checkout booster. What this is gonna do is basically it can allow one, it's sort of like a sticky cart and sticky checkout. But as you can already see here on the right side, it has a little cart here where you can press on that and it'll instantly just take you to um, your order. As well as if you're on a product, you're scrolling down, what it'll show is at the top, the product, the ratings, and then add to cart. And scroll back up and it goes away. As well as if you're just scrolling through the products on a collection page, you'll be able to add it to cart directly from there. Um, and another thing which you can toggle is skip to cart and go straight to checkout. We turn that on and then save the changes. Instead of going through the whole cart phase, you're gonna sort of eliminate one of the variables that holds people back from buying, which is seeing their cart. Press add to cart. It's gonna put it in the cart and now it's gonna ask for our information so we can buy the product. Now, the only issue with this is if you're using this app to go directly to the checkout, um, it can be very helpful, but at the same time, you're gonna lose a few conversions because the timer with the discount code isn't gonna be there anymore and you won't be able to utilize that to increase your conversion. So for me, I personally don't use this skip to checkout because it eliminates some of the options you can use. And the last one I wanna show you guys real quick is called Ultimate Sales Boost. Sorry if I'm talking fast. You might have to put this video in slow motion. I don't want my camera to die because I don't have another battery on set right now. But if we go here to our apps again, we go to Ultimate Sales Boost. Now, this is like one of those all-in-one apps. Um, there's a lot of apps out there that do a lot of different things like Herify and all this stuff. But this is one of those apps that's like that, but it has a lot of different options. It's like an all-in-one instead of having to get all these different apps and pay for them. Um, you know, you can have the cart timer like we just talked about with the conversion pirate, except it's in the cart in a different way, as well as Herify. You can have inventory, all this stuff. So if I select just an inventory countdown and select the template, um, you know, it'll show exactly how we want it. We can have it for 91 minutes, um, the font size, all this stuff, and this is how it's gonna look. And you can change all this stuff. This is all their options here. If you scroll through, you can be able to add trust badges, inventory, timers, everything you want. Now, you don't wanna use all of them because that's then just gonna clutter your store and make it look unappealing on your product pages. You don't wanna have too much stuff because then it sort of distracts the customer from the main purpose, which was to actually convert them. You know, trust badges can be very important. And the ones they have here are actually ones I've used. I use these. Some of the other ones, they just look a little too cheesy in my opinion. Some of these actually look professional and can help increase conversions. So those are the main five apps, the Drive 5 that I like to use for my conversions. And I know I didn't break down every single little thing on how to use it, but the thing is, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think for most of the stuff with dropshipping and e-commerce, a lot of people expect stuff just to be shown step-by-step step and handed to them every single time. Now, the way you're gonna learn, in my opinion, is always gonna be experience over knowledge. Um, now, there's one other app on here that I haven't talked about, which you can't buy on the Shopify app store, which is an upsell app that does crazy numbers. And it's something one of my friends did where he used it and they had about $70,000 in sales just from purchases, but an extra almost $80,000 was literally just from the upsells and the cross sales, which was post-purchase. Now that's something that's a little bit more complex and it's out of the bubble of this beginner stuff. So if you wanna to talk to someone from my team and see if we can help with you um, in your store and doing stuff like that, then there's a link in the description if you wanna check that out. And only fill it out if you're actually serious and wanna work with us and we can figure something out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned some stuff about increasing conversion and optimizing your store for conversions. You know, I know I did not go through building the whole store, but that's something I feel like you should try on your own and then use the other stores as inspiration as I showed you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like, 
comment, and subscribe. Peace.